Hey, what's going on everybody? ETP coming at you guys with another video today and I have officially released my 2016 draft class. This is much requested. I've got a ton of comments on YouTube, uh, a lot of tweets, a lot of messages on PlayStation asking for a 2016 class and I'm happy to say that version 1 is now available on PlayStation 4. Here's all the download information. It'll be on screen. It'll be in the description. You guys can see it right here. Um, 2016 with accurate faces plus ratings is the name of the file. That's exactly the same name as the 2015 file except for it has 2016 at the beginning and the online ID is the same. Embrace the pace with an A instead of an E in the. So definitely go download that and uh, in this video I'm just going to talk about the class a little bit and tell you guys about something really, really important regarding your modes that you use these draft classes in. So, first of all, you can see um, I've got some of the top prospects in here. The class has 30 players right now, which is the same as um, as I did for the 2015 class for version 1. I am going to be adding more players in. I'm not sure how many the class will get. I know for a fact it will not get as many players as the 2015 because there's just not as much information about out there for uh, you know a lot of these prospects um, these guys right here there is information out about them because they're like the top top guys but some of the like foreign players and some of the guys that aren't so highly recruited um, there's just not hardly any information out there there's not even a ton for some of these top prospects so it's a lot harder to make the uh, class than it is for the 2015 um, but as I said got 30 guys in it a lot of the guys are from the 2015 class that I made and it's an older version so in the newer versions of my 2015 class some of these guys have been taken out Wayne Selden, Mark Garcia, Marcus Lee, Edgeman Gouven, um, Terry Rozier, Sandarius Thornwell, all these guys I'll put the entire list on screen uh, I think there are 17 guys that I moved from the 2015 class to the 2016 class and the reason why I did that is for one I needed more prospects to put in my 2016 class and Draft Express, their most updated mock draft is from December 29th and a lot of the guys that I had in the 2015 class, when I created them, they were supposed to go in 2015. That's when they were projected. Now they're projected to go in 2016. So I had to move them over. I figured this would be a good time to do it because it's the end of the calendar year. Um, conference play is starting up, so it's kind of like midway through the season. So I thought it would be a good time to do it. But I know for a fact it is going to mess a few people up because there will end up being duplicate players, especially in my GM. So I'm just going to give you a few solutions on how to fix this. Number one, if you're playing my GM and you've already started your mode with an older version of my 2015 class, and when I say older version, I mean like you downloaded it um, probably more than two weeks ago. Uh, then just don't even download this 2016 class or you will 100% have duplicate players and you don't want that because in my GM you can't edit anything you'll just have to live with the duplicate players so again don't download the class if you have an older version of my 2015 class in my GM in my league if you have an older version you can either not download this class or you can just download it and then you can change the players names like change the duplicates because in my league you have all the customization options uh, you can change all their information their name their body their attributes all this stuff so you can make it like they're a completely different player but they still will look the same as uh, as the other players which is a little bit of a downside as well but if you have not started a mode yet, 100%, if you have not started a My League or a My GM with my 2015 class and you want to use the 2016 as well, you have to download the most recent version of my 2015 class before you use this 2016 class. Because as I said, I've moved all these duplicate guys from the older versions to the new version. So right now, if you have the newest versions of both these classes, there are no duplicate players. Um, you know, all the players in each class are different. There's not a Wayne Selden in the 2015, and there's not a Wayne Selden in the 2016. So you get what I'm saying. Make sure you download the newest updates. If you have a if you have a class like the 2015 class that you downloaded an older version and you're doing a lot of edits to it and you don't want to lose that progress by downloading a new version, you can just take 
players out of the 2015. And basically how I did that, I'll show you. Like, for example, um, I'll go to my 2015 class right here. So say, say this is the file you have and you've been doing a ton of edits to it. It's an older version, so you don't have my newest update, so it would have duplicate players. Um, you'll go down here, you'll say, oh, well, Frank Kaminsky, I need to replace him. You don't really need to replace Frank Kaminsky. This is just an example. But what you do is you could create a player. What I did was I created a player that's just horrible. You'll see this at the bottom of some of my classes. I just named him Don't Draft, Don't Draft. I made his, all his attributes bad. And you could just copy him to your class and then you could replace the certain player you want to replace and by doing that um, you know he'd just be at the bottom and it would basically be like removing Frank Kaminsky from the class so you could do that um, if that's the situation that you're in so enough of that um, some of the recent updates I've done to the 2016 class and the 2015 class um, as I'm releasing this is I, today I just did a ton of work to player consistency ratings. I noticed that my player consistency ratings were too high. Um, I compared them to guys like Andrew Wiggins and Jabari Parker and a bunch of the draft picks in the game now, and uh, they were just a little bit too high. So I've done a lot of work with that. I've knocked them down, added, uh, you know, since, since I've knocked down those ratings, it's made their overalls a little lower. So I've been able to up a few more um, you know, skill attributes to make them a little bit better. So I don't think the prospects will be as bad in some areas. Like you'll see a lot of guys with really, really bad. Um, you used to see a lot of guys with really bad attributes, like inside scoring and stuff, because that's the only way I could get their overall rating to go down. So they wouldn't be overpowered. Um, but by knocking down the consistency attributes, I've been able to add a little bit more skill to them. So it'll be a little bit more balanced, I think. Um, and another thing that I'm going to do soon with the 2016 class is guys, for example, like um, like Wayne Selden. Right now, I have his age at 20 years old, but technically, it's a year out. So when he gets drafted, if he does, the, if he does declare for the 2016 instead of the 2015, he would be 21 years old. So I am going to change ages for those guys and uh, stuff like that. So... That's pretty much it for this update. I'm sorry if I confuse some people. Again, just make sure you download the most recent versions of both classes before you start a mode. And if you're in my league or my GM and you're using an older version of my 2015, I just go ahead and skip out on the 2016. And uh, if you ever start a new mode, you can download the newest versions because it's just a really big pain if you have duplicate players. And in my opinion, it would kind of kill things. So that's why I was debating on even... Um, you know, moving players back and forth, but if I wouldn't have moved players from 2015 to 2016, I really would not have had enough players to even make a 2016 class. So that brings me to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think of the 2016 class. Once you download it, again, all download information down in the description. It was on screen at the beginning of the video, so you guys can rewind it for that. And uh, I'll try to make some videos soon, come out with some more creation tutorials. Uh, and if any more big updates happen with the class, I'll definitely try to uh, get a video up explaining some of that stuff to you guys. So talk to you guys later.